What up, Boxing World? 12 Rounds TV. Cotto versus Gill's official weigh-in just ended. Cotto weighed in at uh, 153 pounds and 6 ounces. On the other hand, Daniel Gill weighed in at 157 pounds. Right on the nose. Now, there were some concerns and controversies before actually Gill uh, wanted to fight Cotto because... Gil is not really a 157 pounder fighter per se. You know, he had he has some concerns and his corner has some concerns because he will be very dehydrated and uh, very skinny and might might affect his power if he fights Cotto. But on the other hand, Daniel Gill agreed and signed a contract at 157 pounds to fight uh, Miguel Cotto. This fight, Miguel Cotto is on the A side. He's the defending champion. You know, Daniel Gill's got to have to take that from him. So whatever Cotto demands, it's up to Gill to either agree or not. But he did indeed agree and right on the nose made weight today. Both fighters made weight. So no issues there. But the only concerns that I have is how about now, what if Cotto knocks out Daniel Gill in like, three rounds, four rounds, what if? We're going to see some concerns and issues, and we're going to see some complaining, right? I hope not. I hope not. I don't think Daniel Gill is that type of person, but I'm just saying, it's possible that we hear some stupid comments like that, you know, controversies like that. Oh, yeah, Daniel Gill was so dehydrated, looked like a potato. That's what he's saying now, that Daniel Gill looked like a dehydrated potato because of the 157 pounds. He really tried to make that weight. You know, and he did make it, 157, but like I said, a lot of people are saying that he's, he looks really, really dry. I'm sure he'll gain some weight right after the weigh-in. Um, I wonder how he's going to weigh tomorrow. Definitely not 157. He probably about 163, 62, somewhere around there. If not 165. Cotto will probably go up to about 158. I, I, can, I can see that. Or if not 160. But there you go, guys. 153.6 pounds for Cotto. And 157 right on the nose for Daniel Gill. Both look solid. Yeah, Daniel Gill is 5'10 and Cotto is 5'7. But it seems like Daniel Gill is a lot more taller than Cotto, like 6 foot or something like that. But, but uh, it should be a good fight. That's going to be tomorrow at Barclays Center in New York. Uh, some around 9 p.m. Eastern Time, just like every, any other boxing. So stay tuned for that, guys. That's my little review of the whole situation. I thought that Daniel Gill looks looks fine, looks good. I mean, he did look a little bit dehydrated, and not necessarily look like a dehydrated potato, what everybody's saying, but he looked dehydrated. But he had to make the weight, right? He's the one that agreed to fight Cotto at this catch weight. I mean, it would be impressive for him if he beats Cotto by a knockout. So, you know, on a dehydrated uh, um, catch weight of 157. So. Let's see what happens. Let me know what you guys think. Please leave me some comments. And uh, let me know what your observation was of the uh, of the weigh-in of Cotto and uh, Daniel Gill. Did he really look dehydrated to you? Like, did he really look like a potato, dehydrated potato? That's what everybody's saying. Let me know what you guys think. Let me just leave some comments. Please subscribe and like, share, plus one this video if you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys in the next one or right after the fight tomorrow. Stay safe and take care. Peace.